Hi guys, welcome to Come For It Life channel. I am so happy to see you here today. In this video, we are talking about our sleep, about sleep deprivation, and about how sleep deprivation can affect our skin. Actually, I see this video as um, a sign of awareness that I would love to share with you that sleep is very, very important, and so often we really neglect the fact that our body thrives on the sleep, on the normal eight-hour sleep, and we all live in a very fast world. We all understand that instead of just you know slowing down, we try to take one step extra when we want to be more productive, when we want to do as many things throughout the day as we just can, and sometimes we really sacrifice our sleep and we want to do different things, we want to be successful. It's all absolutely understandable. But before we start talking about our skin and sleep, I would absolutely need to mention that your sleep deprivation might bring really serious health problems can affect your blood sugar, your blood pressure, your heart, and even your brain. Not to mention that um, your weight loss and your appetite is controlled by a normal amount of sleep. How can we prove that getting enough amount of sleep will definitely be beneficial for our skin? If you want to have a glowing, healthy looking skin, you need to make sure that you sleep enough. And during the time when we snooze, actually, our body boosts the blood flow to our skin. So if you don't have enough amount of sleep, your blood flow is absolutely decreased and thus you're actually ending up with having dull and absolutely not healthy looking skin. One of the most popular things discussed, uh, widely discussed about skin is our collagen. And believe it or not, your collagen formation is influenced by the sleep. So if you don't have enough amount of sleep, you don't have enough collagen. So what is collagen actually? In so to put it simple, it's a protein in your skin that is responsible for your skin for and strength. So obviously when we are young we have plenty of collagen and our skin is glowing, it's smooth looking, plump and firm. And then by and then while we age every year the amount of collagen production actually decreases slowly, slowly, but then you end up with the wrinkles. That's a natural process, right? But if you do want to help to encourage the collagen production, you need to make sure that you sleep. So actually how sleep deprivation interferes with the collagen production? First of all, when you don't have enough amount of sleep, it actually impairs your immune function. It's obviously very bad for your health already, but immune function is responsible for the collagen production. And your immune function should be properly restored during the night, and if it's not, unfortunately, the skin may not be able to properly produce the collagen. Another reason which I find very, very serious is that if you don't have enough amount of sleep, your cortisol levels, this very important hormone, so responsible for so many different functions in your body, is going to be increased. It helps your body to manage stress and it can also inhibit the collagen production. Talking about hormones, sleep deprivation also inhibits the release of the growth hormone. Well, before you start thinking, why would I ever need the growth hormone, I'm an adult and things like that, we need to remember that growth hormone stimulates cell reproduction and cell regeneration. This hormone is highly dependent on sleep and it also is responsible for the collagen production. Another reason why you should probably get more sleep is that sleeplessness impairs the skin barrier function. While your skin barrier is the outermost layer of your skin, it's desired to be tough and hard to penetrate. It has two purposes, to prevent the skin water loss and keep out microorganism pollutants and irritants. So if your skin barrier is not working well, you might end up with a really inflamed, red looking skin. Obviously with the water loss, your skin might really have a dull look and it might be dry and flaky. And as a result of foreign invaders penetrating your outermost layer of the skin. Sometimes talking about all this and the stress, uh, of course, people might say that I have acne and I don't know the reason. So I would strongly recommend you here to look into your sleeping hours because it might also affect your, you know, the acne on your skin. Another interesting fact I wanted to share with you is that studies have proven that um, during the night your skin is, right, it's being restored and what it does, it reduces the skin damage done by the UV exposure. The next reason I guess is pretty obvious when we wake up and we see, you know, the puffy eyes and the dark circles, especially if our sleep deprivation has been going for a long time. Talking about puffy eyes, well, the, the, the obvious reason is that under our eyes there's um, a lymphatic fluid channel that sometimes doesn't uh, drain properly and actually the toxins and waste of your body is not being carried away correctly as well. You can watch my video about lymphatic system where I give, um, I think, a lot of tips, you know, that might help you to 
improve that condition. And sleep deprivation might really be very bad for your lymphatic system to work properly so all the fluids are flowing nicely and you know do its job pretty much. And the dark circles, you know, uh, the skin under our eyes is very delicate, it's translucent and um, you know with age the blood vessels they can be seen more uh, vividly. And during the sleep if you don't have enough you do have the hormonal changes and all that triggers the healthy blood flow and thus we ending up with the dark circles and puffy eyes. So I really hope that these reasons are very strong for you to start thinking whether you get enough of sleep or not. I know that every person is different and unique. One person can get an, uh, an amazing you know, rest uh, just out of six hours, but again, it's been uh, proven that these type of people are really the minority. Most people do need their eight hours of sleep. Also, I would love to mention here is that eight hours of sleep might be different. For instance, when I sleep eight hours and I sleep next to the toddler and there is no way I will feel that I've really got that much sleep. What's really important is to have a proper sleep hygiene or habits which will make sure that our sleep is deep enough and it's really restoring so we don't wake up uh, during the night. And um, the I guess the best advice would be just to make sure that before going to sleep you don't stare in any screens like computer screens, TV or your phone or any iPads um, because you know the blue light they are giving off is not healthy for our brain. It actually re reduces this natural hormone, the sleeping hormone melatonin and that's why you have a harder time you know to fall asleep and to sleep better. I know it's probably almost impossible to um, you know be away from all the devices at least a couple hours before going to sleep but I, I understand the reality of our life if you can't do that, if you can, please uh, try this maybe once a week. But um, you know, as little as half an hour would be a good start. Make sure you know kids follow these rules as well because they're so little and it's so easy to mess up with their you know normal sleeping patterns. I need to add here is that sleeping next to your phone is a very bad habit. It's very bad for your brain and it might even cause cancer. So um, you know. The best you could do is uh, turn off the Wi-Fi, even in your house entirely, or on the phone, or put it in the airplane mode, or just leave it in the other room. And um, I guess this is this is a very important rule to follow. Obviously, I should mention here is that if you want to have a nice-looking skin next morning, don't drink right before going to sleep, and don't drink alcohol and coffee and any caffeinated drinks. Well, if you cannot um, avoid drinking alcohol, let's say uh, before going to sleep, make sure you follow it with a glass of water because it's going to be easier. For your body to get rid of it. Plus, alcohol uh, might really ruin your normal beauty sleep because your sleep will not be that deep and you might uh, wake up during um, the night. Some people I know say that with a glass of um, wine or something else they just fall asleep faster but the reality is without even knowing that your sleep is not that deep and it's not that healthy and restoring for your body. I also have this um, little tip is that sometimes it's really important to try to find your best sleeping hours. Um, I understand in the routine and like working hours it's all pretty much set up, but what I've noticed is that if I go to sleep uh, after 12, I really sleep very bad. It's hard for me to fall asleep and in the morning I really feel tired and not rested well. So if I just go to sleep before 12, even maybe 45 minutes before that time, um, I absolutely have a better sleep. I mean, I, I cannot explain that. I also know that the studies um, say that the best sleep for our brain is from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. So this is like a perfect time for our brain to rest. Um, unfortunately, I know very little people who do sleep during these hours. But I guess with a little trial and error, we could all find the best solution for us. I guess you guys like this video. Now you know a lot about getting really nice uh, beauty sleep out there. But believe it or not, it is important for healthy looking, glowing and calm skin and also, it's very important for our overall health, for our heart health, for the brain health. So if you really want to influence your health somehow in the long run, you have to try to figure out what your best sleeping routine is, what your best sleeping hygiene is, and how you can get um, more hours of sleep. And I'm pretty sure you've heard about many people and celebrities and really good looking people, healthy people, they are even napping during the day. Well, that's a luxury, I would say here, but um, I mean, throughout the weekend and if you just want to really slow down, just lay down for a half an hour in bed. Maybe you will fall asleep, maybe you won't, but just put the phone away and um, see how that works for you. Thank you so much for your attention. I wish you to stay very happy, very healthy. I wish you to have lots of sleep, lots of good quality sleep, which would bring you amazing results, which would make you healthy and your skin good looking. If you like this video, please put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.